Hi everyone, it's time for another Saturday craft. Today we are making a surprise hatching Easter egg card. I hope you're excited. I'm excited about this craft. I think it's really fun. So you will need a couple of sheets of paper. I've got some coloured, I've actually got one piece of paper and one piece of card. If you do have a piece of card, that is even better. But if you've only got paper, that's fine too. So two bits of paper or one piece of paper, one piece of card. You need a pencil, you need some coloured pens or pencils, a glue stick and a pair of scissors for this craft. Let's have a look at what you need to do. Okay, so I'm going to start with my piece of card. This is going to be the Easter egg. Now, egg shapes can be a little bit tricky to draw. So here is a little trick you can use to draw a really good egg. So I have got a plate out the cupboard. Make sure you check with a grown up before you go taking a plate out the cupboard because you need to be really careful with it. I'm going to put that upside down at the bottom of my page and I'm going to draw around it really carefully with my pencil. There we go. So that's going to be the bottom of my egg and then I need something a bit smaller and circular at the top. I've got a sellotape roll and I'm going to put it so it goes a little bit over the edge of the circle I've just drawn. Not too far, but a little bit over the edge. And then I'm going to draw around the outside of that as well, still using my pencil. There we go. And I have two circles on my page. Then to make an egg shape, all you need to do is connect up the side of this circle with the side of this circle like that. Can be a little bit tricky to draw, but if you go carefully, you'll be able to do it. And then you end up with a really good egg shape. And the next thing you need to do is to cut all around the edge of that. Make sure you check with a grown up before you use the scissors. There we go. I have my Easter egg and I'm going to turn it over so I can't see any of those pencil lines. You can rub them out with a rubber if you want to, but it won't matter because they'll be on the back of the egg. So now I just need to decorate my egg. I've got my coloured pens and I'm going to decorate it so it looks really beautiful. You could cut out different bits of paper and stick them on if you wanted to as well, but I've just got some pens to do mine. Okay, so I've finished decorating my egg. I've done some hearts and stripes and swirls. I've got some little flowers. I've got some more stripes and spots. There's some little chicks up there. And then at the top it says, Happy Easter. That is my egg. Okay, so next I am going to cut it so it looks like it is opening up and I have very helpfully drawn myself a little zigzag down the middle of my egg so I'm just going to cut along the zigzag if you don't have a zigzag in the middle though you could just draw one on with pencil and then cut along so I'm gonna cut down my zigzag so it looks like my egg is opening Thank you. 
Okay, now my egg is in two pieces and it splits like that. That is going to be the outside of my card. And now we're going to work on the inside. So I'm going to put that bit to the side for a minute. And I'm going to get my piece of paper. Okay, so actually we don't want the whole piece of paper. We want it in half down the middle like this. So I'm going to fold it so I know where halfway is. And then I'm going to very carefully cut down that line so I just have half. Okay, now we need to do a little bit of clever folding so that it does the popping out of the middle of the egg thing. So I'm going to start at this end. I'm just going to fold it over a little way like that. It's not too much. It's about the width of two fingers. So you can lay your fingers on and that's about as much as you need to fold it. And I'm going to do the same at this end. There we go. About two fingers wide. Okay, those are the first folds. And then I'm going to flip it over. So those folds are underneath now. And I'm going to fold it again like that. So I folded it a little bit wider this time. There's my first fold. So you can see this is a little bit wider, but not all the way to the middle. And then I'm going to do the same on this side. There you go. So it's a little bit wider, not too far. And it will do that. And that's the important bit because that is what makes your egg open. So now you need to stick this onto the back of your egg. So I'm going to get my egg back. Here it is. And I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to make sure this is lined up really nicely. Then I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to put some glue on this flap and on this flap. I'm just using some print stick. Okay, one. Okay, now we're going to stick it onto our egg. We need to make sure that one of the glued pieces is in the bottom section and one of the glued pieces is in the top section. You don't have to be super precise, you just need to make sure that that happens. And lay it down really carefully, like that. Make sure it's pressed down really well and then you can flip your egg back over and when you pull it, out will pop a piece of paper in the middle. A surprise hatching Easter egg card. And you can use that piece of paper in the middle to write an Easter message or maybe draw a chick onto the middle piece. That would be kind of a fun thing, wouldn't it? And give it to somebody as their Easter card. So there you go, a pop-up hatching Easter egg card. Here is mine all finished and I've drawn a happy Easter chick inside. I hope you have fun making your cards and I will see you tomorrow for Family Sunday. Bye.